Welcome back. We're going to do some more Lightroom work so we can get your photos ready for your first batch of photos, which is the nature assignment. We can get those ready. One of the things we get to do in Lightroom is organize our photos. And um, because Lightroom has tools to help us do that, it helps us, like for example, in my case, I've got 122 photos that I, I took while I was out taking photos for the nature assignment. Uh, I'm going to turn in, you are going to turn in 10 photos. So I want to identify the 10 that are the most interesting, that have the most to say and do. And I, I just for now want to ignore the other 112. Lightroom will help me do that. There's a sorting system. There's multiple sorting systems in Lightroom. I'm going to teach you what I think is the easiest one. And we're just going to use a labeling system using star ratings. So if it's, if it's a great photo, it's going to get five stars. If it's not a photo I want to work on, it's not going to get any stars. So it's just five stars, no stars. So here's how I'm going to do it. What I'm going to do is work through all my photos. I have 122. That won't take very long. Trust me. I'm not going to make you sit through me doing all of them. I will uh, we'll do all of them, but it should take me less than two minutes. It's a second or two maybe or so per photo. Um, and here's the process. So what I'm going to do, I can do this either from the library module or develop. But if I'm in library, what I'll do is click the photo twice, and that will make it fill up the screen. Um, so I want this to be as big as I can. I can even uh, high, uh, resize some of the other uh, panels so I've got a little more room to see that photo large. Okay. Here's the process. I'm going to use my air. I'm going to use just my hands. I'm not going to use the mouse. I'm going to use my the arrow keys on the keyboard. So my arrow keys. I'm going to have my right hand over my arrow keys, the left and right arrow, and then I'm going to use my left hand with my pointer finger on the number five key, on the number five key. So here we go. And here's what I'm doing. I'm gonna make a real quick judgment. Is it a definite yes or maybe? So if it's a yes, maybe, it's gonna get the five stars at the first pass. If it's a no, I'm just gonna go to the next photo. And I ha I'll have some similar photos, so I'm finding the best one of them for now. So like, for example, there's these three fo fo uh, five photos of the same thing. So I'm looking for sharpness, composition. This is the sharpest one. I'm going to hit the number five. Boom. Uh, nope, out of focus. <laughs> out of focus. Uh, out of focus, out of focus. So no, no keepers there. This was an interesting idea. I don't know that it works. Uh, some close-ups. So I'm not going to go through all of the... Well, I'll... I'm going to go through all of them and you can, I'm not sure where I'm going to edit out. So that's a maybe. Maybe. What makes it a maybe? It's just, do you like it or not? And if it's a definite yes, obviously hit the number five. Uh, that's a maybe. That's kind of interesting, a little different. And sometimes I'll hit uh, the number five when I have multiple photos on like two of them. So I remember to go check sharpness, which is the sharpest, sharpest one. Sharpest, sharpest. <laughs> So like on this photo, it's not real sharp. And if you want to double check sharpness, here's how you do it. Click once and it'll zoom in. Well, I have a high res screen. So what you need to do is actually click in the navigator. If you want to check sharpness and please, please do click on the navigator. If you have a high res screen like I do and click on two to one and that'll zoom you in tighter. Uh, this isn't quite as sharp as I would like. I'm being picky, but that's what I get to do. That's more sharp, but is it interesting? I don't know. That's a maybe. Nope. Not really. And we'll end with the dog sleeping on the pillows. So I've gone through all 122 photos in this case. Uh, my s encouragement to you is uh, as you're starting this, don't be just counting. Okay, I did 10, 10 and 5 stars. Don't do that. Go through the whole sequence of photos. It doesn't take very long. I think this took me less than two minutes, give or take a little bit. So uh, now my next step is to, to tell Lightroom, okay, just show me those ones I put the five star on that I said are a yes or a maybe. At this point, they're yes and maybes. The next step, I'm going to get to j closer to just the yeses. So here's how I do that. 
Lightroom has filters for sorting photos. And the way we sort photos with a filter is click where it says filters off. So I'm at the bottom of my screen, just below those little thumb strip views. And I'm gonna click on that and it's currently set to filters off. And I wanna change it to the filter that says rated, rated. So now the five is gonna show me anything that has more than one star. And in my case, I just use five stars. So now I've got how many photos? I have a lot less. I have 26 photos now visible. All those other photos are still in Lightroom. They haven't gone anywhere. You can see my nature collection still has 122 photos. It's just sorting them using the database to say, just show me ones that meet this criteria. It'd be like, just show me people in the room with glasses or left-handed people or the other cool people who like donuts. So that's what this is like. So now I still, I'm still trying to get down to 10 photos. Uh, that's how many I'm gonna spend my time editing for this assignment and how many I wanna turn in. So now you can see in my film strip, I've got some duplicates. Let's find the strongest one of each. And on the photos now that I don't wanna include in the sort, what I'm gonna do is when I look at the photo I don't wanna include, I'm gonna hit the zero key. So I'm still using the arrow keys with my right hand, and now I'm over the zero key on photos I don't want to include. With, so I'm using my right hand with the arrow and the left hand with the zero. So I'm just gonna hit zero on photos I don't wanna include anymore. I'm gonna keep this one to start, and I've got five of these, which one? Of these, that's a little sharper, so I'm gonna zero that. Uh, I'm gonna keep that, let's see lose that. All right. So I've still got three. That's probably too many. Uh, which of these kind of like this, I can always zoom in. So I'm going to zero that, zero that. Um, that's not really working. That's not really working. That's kind of cool. I like that one better. So I'm going to zero that. Um, and you have, you. this is a skill with experience you will develop with more time. Just quickly saying yes, no. And the more you look at your stuff, the more you'll, this becomes a little easier. I know they're still your babies and they're hard to say no to, but for now you're just, basically you're just saying, this is what I'm choosing today. They're all still there. They're not gone. Uh, and I recommend actually don't hit the delete key in Lightroom yet. Uh, at this part of the process, never hit the delete key in Lightroom. Just do sorts like this so that um, you have all your photos for later on. You never know. All right. Uh, I'm going to zero that for sure. And that, I, I didn't like it as much as I thought. I'm going to keep that for now. No on that because I know this one's sharper. That's even sharper still. So, yes, which one is better? They're kind of similar. Uh, I'm going to zero one of them. Uh, this or this. I'll go with the. Bottom, this one's a little sharper, zero that. So I'm down to 12. So I'm down to 12. So I've got some similar subjects, uh, especially these guys over here, these pink ones. So I'm gonna maybe find the strongest of the three and eliminate two. So I'm gonna keep that one, zero that, and zero that. So now I'm down to 10. Boom, my list is, is now down to where I need it to be um, and uh, I often don't pick a number, just say, okay, I'm just gonna only do 10, uh, but for assignments, I do, for class. Um, and yes, you need to be at 10, not nine, not 11, 10 is the magic number. Uh, so um, that's the process. I've used Lightroom to, to sort and rate my photos to say, these are the ones today that I wanna work on next in the develop module. Uh, again, just to confirm, I've got I've, what you're seeing here in Lightroom, look right above your film strip, the small preview of your photos. You have an information bar. Mine says 10 of 122 photos slash one selected. So it means 10 are visible and only one is selected. That uh, means one is clicked on. Um, and if I come back up here to my collection for this, the camera collection of nature, there's still 122 photos in there. So I haven't deleted any, I've just hidden them. That's one of the most powerful things about Lightroom. 
to uh, make your life uh, more organized, structured, and easier to get to just the photos you want to work on. So as always, if you have questions on how this works, uh, send me an email, see me in Zoom office hours, drop a note into the class discussion for this class, which is class number five, and uh, let me know how I can help. Um, I, I, I'm, I love Lightroom because of all the, the power of doing this sorting. It, it just is such a, it, trust me, it makes your life easier. Uh, and I hope you're really enjoying it. And then I hope you really have fun in the basic panel, editing these photos uh, and then exporting them and then uploading to Flickr. And your first photo assignment will be complete. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video.